Hi, everybody. I'm Mark Summers, and as you probably know, this is What Would You Do? Welcome. How are you? This is the show that puts people in the most ridiculous situations, but gives them a choice about what they're going to do. Who is curious? I'm looking for somebody who is really a curious kind of guy. Anybody here really kind of curious? Are, are you curious? Yeah, yeah. Stand up. Why are you so curious? What's your name? Brian. Brian, is your dad here at all? Yeah. Where's your dad? Back over there? Oh, you know what? I want to talk to your dad about something a little bit later. So you, you hang on there just for a few seconds. Who else has, uh, has a curious little air about them at all? Anybody at all? I'm looking for somebody who's up here. Oh, look at this. Hi. What's your name? Ginny. Ginny, stand up, Ginny. Why are you so curious? I don't know. Is your mom or dad here? Yeah, my dad. Your dad's there, right there. <laughs> just kind of punched him right in the head there. Hi, sir. What's your name? Norman. Norman, come on down. Jenny, you come too. Right over here. Norman and Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, right over here. Now, Norman, nice to see you. What kind of work do you do, sir? I'm a pharmacist. Very nice. All right. Well, you know a lot about chemicals and interesting things like that. So your dad's a really bright man, right? Yeah. Oh, well, here's what we are going to do. We have three doors over there, and I would like you to select any door. Door one, door two, or door three. But whatever you select, your dad is going to have to wear on his back through the park at Universal for the rest of the show, okay? Okay. Okay, what's it gonna be, door one, two, or three? One. Door number one is the one you're stuck on that, you can't change your mind, but would you like to see what you didn't pick? Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh good, I'm glad you said that, because otherwise we would have been about a minute and 30 seconds short at the end of the program, but we'll keep going. <laughs> door number two, let's see what you don't have to wear on your back, Norman, at the uh, part of the show, and the, uh, oh look, at a monkey! Look at this! <laughs> it's Mike and Jenny! All right, Mike. How you doing? Good. Jenny, what'd you have to say? Thank you so much, Jenny. Right over there. So you don't have to wear a Jenny on your back. That's pretty good, right? Uh, yeah. She's, uh, oh, yeah, Jenny and Jenny. That's right. <laughs> now, let's find out what you don't have to wear on your back behind door number three. And here it is. Look at this. How many times do I have to tell you to brush your teeth? Did you do your homework? It's a mom on your back. You don't want a mom on your back. I want to know if you did your homework this morning. Hi, how are you? Why don't you get a job? Oh. <laughs> okay. That's a mom on did your you back. Did you brush we'll your teeth? Huh? Did you brush your teeth? Did you do your homework? Did, did you, you mow the lawn? Did you mow the lawn? How many times do I have to You don't to want your mom you on your back, do you? Nuh-uh. Oh, okay. Well, you don't have a mom on your back. You don't have a monkey on your back. Let's find out what you have to wear on your back, Norman, for the rest of the show. And here it is. It is a target. Look at that. <laughs> we have a target on your back. Now, Jenny, you're laughing awful hard, I noticed. Um, what would you do if I told you that you were going to have to wear a target on your back as well? I don't know. Well, why don't we do that? Why don't we put you on a, uh, in the target and we put the gentleman in the target? Do you have anybody else in your family here? Your mom or your sister or anybody? My friend. Your friend? Who's your friend? Lori. Lori, come down here, Lori. Right down here, Lori. I need some help from Lori. <laughs> Lori, when the, they're going to get uh, suited up over there. Your job is to go out in the park and follow them around, and we're going to hand you pies, okay? okay. And we're going to ask you to walk up to perfect strangers and see if they can hit hit those uh, targets with the pies on their back. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. And as a matter of fact, do we, uh, do we have any targets here or in pies? Oh, good. Can we bring the pies right over here? Here we go. And Norman, I need you to put that on. <laughs> and could you put that on, Jenny? Could you take that off and put that on your back? And I want you to demonstrate the first pie. Now, you want to hit Jenny or do you want to hit her, her dad, Norman? I want to hit Jenny. Oh, how nice of you. Just like a trooper. Why don't you stand right over here, if you would, please? What's your name? Brandy. You did a great job, Brandy. So just turn around over there, and on the count of three, deck her with the pie. Ready? One, two, three. That's how it works, just like that. Turn around and show her. We're going to take them around, and uh, we're going to come back with more of What Would You Do right after we do this. What, 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 what would you, what, what, what would you do? What's your name, sir? Brent Rankin. And Brent, and this your mom? Yes, sir. And your name is? Candy. Now, do you really get on his back like that, Candy? <clears throat> Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> She's a good mom, right? Yeah. Yeah, thanks very much. And this is Brandy, and uh, who's this gentleman? Uh, Bill. Bill, and you wore that uh, Target. Very nice. What kind of work do you do, sir? Uh, I'm a truck driver. Very good. Well, we have some T-shirts for all of you. Go backstage and get those, and we'll see them a little bit later. <laughs> we, uh...
Before the show today, you know, we picked three young men and sent them backstage. I'd like to see the fathers of those three young men. Where are they? If you could raise your hand. Sir, could you come down here? And you, sir, and if uh, you, sir, as well, could all join me right down here, down here on stage. <laughs> right here. And, uh, oh, good, right over here in the middle, sir. And yes, sir, yeah. Is that... Uh, that's the other one. Where's the, uh, where there's another man who, uh, who has a son backstage. Do we know where, where uh, this father is? We don't have a clue. Oh, you. Oh, hi, sir. <laughs> just j forgot that your son was there, huh? Sorry, we're awful slow in England. Well, that's okay. It's, uh... <laughs> now, are you visiting here, sir? Yes. What yeah. kind of work do you do in England? I'm on the building. On the, on the building? Yeah. What exactly does that mean? Well, you do building, you know. Oh, you're, uh, we, construction then, right? Yes, okay, yes, sorry. Yeah. No, that's all right. We have a language problem here, right? I said we were slow. Yeah. yeah, no, you're not slow. Now, they have other terms there. They don't call it an elevator. They call it a lift. A lift. Hi, sir. What's your name? Bob Cook. And Bob, what do you do for a living? Painter. Very nice. And you are? Uh, John Wall. And John, what do you do? I'm in the Navy. In the Navy. Oh, my gosh. That's great. And what part of the Navy are you in, sir? I mean, are you out on the ships? Or are you uh, on land? or what? On the ships. What ship are you on? Mount Baker. And what is uh, your rank, sir? Uh, Chief Warrant Officer. Chief, oh, okay. Uh, aye, aye, sir. Yes, we're all going to do that. Um, our Navy, though, sir. Okay. Um, now, what do you guys feel about earrings and guys wearing earrings? How do you feel about that? Nice. Not a problem, right? And how about you? What do you think about guys wearing earrings? Whatever. I mean, yeah. it floats a boat. <laughs> floats a boat. <laughs> I see. And speaking of floating boats, how do you feel about uh, guys wearing earrings? Well, it's not allowed in the Navy. It's not? Why don't they allow that in the Navy? I'm not sure. You're not yeah. sure? Another one of those government things. Not sure you just do it, huh? Well, what would you do? What do you think we've been doing with your, uh, your son's backstage? Do you have any idea? Putting earrings in them, probably. Well, <laughs> you know this show too well, don't yeah. you, sir, huh? We, we have had them backstage, and, and would you like to see exactly what they look like? Of course. Well, of course. Let's bring them out then. There are three gentlemen uh, who are belonging to their respective fathers. There they are. So stand in front of your dad, or next to your dad, if you would, please. Now, what's your name, sir? Michael. Do you like it at all? Do you, do you think it's a nice look at all? Nah. No. You, so you wouldn't probably do it on a, on a regular basis, right? Nah. Okay, and how do you feel about earrings, sir? Um... Nobody speaks English here all of a sudden today. Have you noticed that? Turn around. Let's, let's see. Now, you've got a, a, you know, a dye hanging down over there. That's kind of interesting. And what do you have? What did you choose? Um, skull, I think. Yeah, yeah, a skeleton over there. And, and what is your name, sir? Sean. And Sean, you, you took a dollar sign. Why did you do that? Just thought it was a nice look, huh? Okay. Well, we'd like to know what you guys would feel about wearing earrings. All right? So you think about that. And we would like to ask our audience, just the guys vote on this, right? Guys, only guys, what would you do if we asked you to put an earring in your ear. If you do it, press the number one, guys only. If you wouldn't do it, press the number two. One if you do it, two if you wouldn't. Let's find out the percentage in our audience. 40%, 38% said that they would do it. 63% said that they wouldn't do it. All right, is that 101%? Is that possible? <laughs> 101%, I don't know, a quick math, something told me that wasn't right. But anyway, that's about it, 38, 63. Most people wouldn't do it. Well, what we are going to do is show you some of the earrings. Robin, don't we have some earrings that we are going to have these gentlemen pick out for their dads, okay? <laughs> and we have, uh, well, we have another skeleton, uh, some crosses, a jack of diamonds. Uh, here is a, uh, what is that, a spider on a right. web, a bat, various things over here. And you guys are going to take your dads backstage, select one, and then we're going to come back and have an earring fashion show. How do you feel about that, sir? Oh, fine. Oh, good. Very nice. All right, go off in that direction, and we are going to take care of that. Airing Fashion Show. I need six helpers next to help me out. You raise your hand. You want to help me out? What's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, why don't you just go stand right over there center front of the stage? Holy cow, I picked the right person. Now, why did you, why did you all cheer for Jennifer? Because she's a sorority sister. Oh, a sorority sister. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you want to help me? Why don't you go down and have a seat in the second seat? Uh, you, sir, right there in the third seat. You want to go there? Yeah, go ahead. Fourth seat over there. I need somebody over here to help me out. Um, you want to go over there? Okay, fifth seat over there. And uh, let me see. Hi, what is your name? Robin. Robin, you want to go down and help me as well? Come on down, help me out. We've got six people over here. Now, here we go. Right over here. Now, I have noticed we only picked one guy. I don't know how that happened. So we have Robin over here, and you are? Jennifer. And what sorority are you in? Tridel. Very nice. <laughs> and you are? Known as Kid. Kid. Yeah. Wanted by the FBI or something? Yeah. Why do they call you it's Kid? An alias. An, an alias. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what do you do, Kid? Uh, I work in radio. 
In radio, it's very entertainment. nice. Entertainment business. And your name is? Shanette Wilson. Shanetta, where do you live? I live in Kissimmee. Kissimmee, I know where that is. And you are? Jessica. And the famous? Eugenia. Oh, very good. Now, we are going to play a game that you've all grown up with in school. Have you ever played musical chairs? Yes. Oh, good. Would you like to play musical chairs today? Yes. Oh, we're going to play it a little bit different, though, Robin. Bring out those pies, would you please? <laughs> we are going to play a game, Robin, called Musical Pies. You, wanna, you don't want to play this game? No. You don't? Okay, you don't have to. It's, is that your choice? You, you choose not to do it? It's up to you. What would you do? You don't want to do it? No, I'll do it. Oh, you'll do it? Oh, good. Then take off, take off your glasses, Robin. I don't think you're going to want to use those glasses. I'll hold them over here. I'll keep them real nice and clean. We are going to start the music, and when the music starts, what I want you to do is pass that pie up and down the aisle as much as you'd like. But when the music stops, the person who's holding that pie has to do something. You know what that is, Robin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you think that is? Put it in their face. There you go. That's what we're looking for. And then we move the chairs closer together, and then we do it with five, four, three, two, and finally till there's one person left, and we have a real special prize for the one person left, okay? So let's get that music started, and here we go. Here it is. Pass that down. Yeah, pass it down. Oh, can we get the music up a little louder in the studio? Oh, you have it. All right. On the count of three, I want to see you hit yourself in the face. One, two, three. There you go. That's it. Very nice. There you go. Robin will take you backstage, and you can take your pie with you. We're going to move this chair out. Why don't you move a little bit closer over here? And we have another pie. We have a fresh pie over here. So we're going to start it off with the person who is going to get it next, which would be you. And can we get the music started one more time and pass it in this direction? Here we go. Oh! Well, I I'm not sure who was it. You, you think of this young lady over here? Oh! No, I think it's one. Well, we dropped that pie, and that means it's no good anymore, so I need to... Would you like one of your sorority sisters to come down here and help you with you? Who would like to do it? You? Okay, come on over here. Hi, what's your name? Ivy. Ivy. Very nice, Ivy. And uh, you just come right over here to your friend Jennifer and just... Uh... Go ahead, huh? There we go. <laughs> Oh, that's your nice sorority sister. Okay, why don't you go over there and get cleaned up, and uh, thank you so much. We're going to move on there. She likes this. <laughs> we're going to move that chair out, and we are going to move you closer together, and we're going to give you another pie, which I think belongs to you, sir, and uh, let's start that music. Here we go. Ah! All right, on the count of three, really deck yourself. One, two, three. Oh, no, 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 folks. That was really the wussiest pie hit I've ever seen in my life. Come on, really hit yourself. There you go. That's what we want to see. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right out over there. Okay, we want to move you a little bit closer together, and you can take that pie. You just move over there. We have another pie coming up here, down to the final three. Oh, I love this. There you go, Robin. You started off on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, oh. What do you think, audience? Who was it? Was it... Uh, it was, oh, Robin. Now, Robin, I know that you've been a good sport about this, so you don't have to really, like, do it as hard as the other people over here, but just give us a little action here. Oh. Our producer says no. Uh, now, you have children, don't you? Mm -hmm. and, and they watch Nickelodeon, right? Mm -hmm. and, and we said that if we came today, we were not going to raise our hand because we didn't want to be caught. Well, did you really? Well, wh where's your daughter? Do you have a daughter's son over here? Well, bring her over here, okay? Come on over here. Now, your mom was a good sport for doing this, wasn't she? Now, why are you so happy about this all of a sudden? <laughs> I'm going to let you decide. Would you like to take the pie in the face, or do you want to do it to your mom? My mom. Do you really? Okay, but be real gentle, all right? Here we go. Here's your mom with the pie. Oh, that was... <laughs> Thank you very much. Off and running here. One more pie here, Robin. <laughs> All right, Mr. Radio and a student, get that music going. Oh, look at this. Well, let me have your glasses, because you really do look terrific. And, you know, we've had such little, you know, soft, gentle pie hits that I want to really see you, you know, like, hit the people in the back row when you hit yourself. Okay, ready? One, two, three, do it. Oh, no, 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 a little harder, a little bit harder. Come on. 
There you go. That's what we want to see. Thank you very much. You're a great sport. And you want to go over there? Robin will get you all cleaned up, and we'll make sure you get your glasses. And that means that we have one final thing for you. What's your first name again, sir? Kid. Kid, here it is. How could I forget that? Kid. And we have a, honest to goodness, cherry pie for Kid as winning that. Thank you. No, not for me. That's for you. Let's hear it for Kid. Thank you so much. And uh, when we come back, we're going to see how our friends are doing in the park with their targets. Plus, we'll see a dad earring fashion show. All that and a lot more when What Would You Do returns. part of the show, we sent Jenny and her dad Norman outside, and they had targets on their back, and uh, their friend was going to ask them to uh, pick up some pies and throw them. Norman, how you doing out there? Great, great. Good. <laughs> and uh, where's Jenny? I don't see Jenny. Is she around there? She's right over there. Yeah. There you go. Now, uh, what I need uh, your friend to do is to walk up to some people there. there hi, there you, there you go. Can you walk up to somebody over there in, the, in one of the crowds and get somebody to throw a pie at your friends? You already got somebody to do it? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okay, uh, tell them, whoa, that's not bad. Okay, now, who they, oh, that's from the other angle. Can we see another one? Can we see another? Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're going to come back and see them a little bit later. <laughs> right now, I want to bring back our kids and our dads for our dad earring fashion show, and here they are. Right over here. There we are, guys. Now, you're walking awful funny. I want you to know that. That's uh, a fail awful funny thing. Really? Yes. <laughs> now, which one did your did your son pick out? Uh, this one. This one, right? Okay. I need yeah. you to take. There you go. That's a uh, that's a spider on a web. Can we get a shot? There you go. That's very nice. And you got to select the one of your choice, didn't you? No. No, you didn't. Oh, didn't you? Well, where did this one come from? Was this not your choice, or was that your son's choice as well? That nice blonde girl selected it. There was a nice blonde girl back there? I'm going back there myself. I don't know. No. Yeah, and she uh, she suggested that you wear this. Turn around. Let me see what this one is. That's like a, sort of a little cross here. That's very nice. Now, which one do you prefer, the cross or the spider? I think the spider. The spider one. Okay, very nice. Now, let's take a look at you, sir. you got a couple of them there. there you know, is this the one that your son selected? Uh, yeah, he did. He did. And uh, any particular reason why you chose these? No. no, just to kind of like the way they look now. Yeah, that one's sort of like, a, I guess, a clip-on kind of deal. Now, let's see the one that uh, you selected on this side. All right, we got a good shot. To just uh, There you go. Just like that. That's good. Very, very attractive. Now, here's a man in the Navy. This man is protecting our shores over here, okay? And we want to find out... <laughs> Let me see the one that uh, that your son picked out, Jack of Diamonds. You play a lot of cards on the ship? No, not allowed to do that either, I guess. And over here is the one that you selected, which is, it's got a, a skeleton and a cross and bones over there. Okay, now, was that fun to do to your dad? Yes. Yeah, I thought you'd kind of like that thing. Here's the question. What would you do if I asked you to really pierce your ear and put one of those on? Would you do it? Yes. Um, now, where is our young lady, Pearl? Pearl, could you come over here just for a second, Pearl? Hi, Pearl. Nice to see you. Can I get you to step back over here? Now, your name is Pearl. My name is Pearl Noel. Noel. Did you know that Noel backwards is Leon? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Just keep that in mind. And your job is? To pierce his ear. All right. Now, how does one do this? This is something that you should go to a professional for, not just take an ice pick and do this at home, right? Right. Yeah, because I know people used to do that when I was in high school. So explain to me what it is you're going to do here. We need to take this off, sir. Could you do that? Yes, fine. And okay. now, do you have to put any sort of antiseptic on this at yes, all? Yes, I put a little antiseptic on, okay. and then I uh, pierced it. It's a very simple process. Does it hurt at all? It's relatively painless. Relatively painless. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and do this. Oh. Okay. Now, is your wife here, sir? Yes. Where's she at? Can you come down here, ma'am? Right down over here. This would be great. Okay. And then you, uh... What's your name? Marilyn. Now, how do you feel about this? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think folks from England have a good spirit about themselves. What kind of work do you do? I'm secretary. Very nice. And this man's going to the construction uh, yeah. job when he goes Fair back. Experience. And he's going to... Is it done? Is it done? It's, it's done, done, done that quick? Oh, yeah, my man. gosh. <laughs> you didn't flinch at all. That's oh, unbelievable. Man. You're a man. There you go. Well, take a look. What do you think? <laughs> Not bad. Come on over here. Well... Great sports. Gentlemen, thank you for helping us out, and thank you for being such a good sport. Pearl and all of you, right off over in that direction. Thank you. You were terrific.
Well, I think it's time to go back to our live camera in front of the Nickelodeon studios and see how our target wearers are doing. And, uh, Jenny, there you are. I see you're trying to dodge those pies over there. Yes, no problem finding people to do it. We've got them in the front there as well. We're going to bring Jenny and Norman back in. And uh, as a matter of fact, we're going to come back right after this, and we are going to do our What Would You Do medley. You won't want to miss that. Stay with us. Human targets for pies. Was that fun? Did you have a good job? It was great. Oh, yeah, and Norman, you're a great sport, but uh, so how, how did they get you in the front there as well? Well, uh, that's when I was cheering Ginny on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you turned around and got it. And Ginny, you really kind of got clobbered up, but was that, <laughs> was that fun? Yeah. Oh, good. All right. Well, how about a round of applause for these folks for helping us out? You go over there and get cleaned up. Thank you all. And I need some help for this next routine here. Who can help me out? Who wants to really help me out on this next? Oh, this young lady here, why don't you go have a seat in the first seat? And uh, let's see, second seat. Why don't you go have a seat in the second seat? This young, this young lady here, hi, why don't you help me out? Yeah, go sit in the second seat. And a third seat, I need a young lady from uh, maybe the sorority who could help us out, huh? Uh, who should I get? Uh, this young lady who isn't raising her hand. I just knew. See, if you don't raise your hand on this show, just have a seat right over there. Hi there, what is your name? Andrea. Andrea, we, uh, we have uh, something on your head over there. It's a card. You have a choice. You can either do what it says on the card, or you can go over there to the Pie Pod. What are you going to do, Andrea? Um, I'll do what it says on the card. Do what it says on the card. Take it off there. It says you will feed an eel. Now, this is, this is really... <laughs> you do not want to stick your hand down inside this thing, because these eels will really, uh, let me tell you, they'll eat things that you don't want to eat. So why don't you come right over here. In fact, take your stool, or yeah, here, we're going to have her stand on this. And these are shrimp. What I want you to do is take the shrimp and drop them inside here, and we're going to see if the eels uh, go after them there. So pick up the shrimp and just drop them inside there. Could you do that? There you go. And just let's see if they snap at them there. Yes, boy. Right there in rehearsal, they were doing a great job. But try another one over there. Just uh, yeah, throw, throw one. There you go. Oh, isn't this exciting television? <laughs> well, you keep trying to feed that eel. We'll come over to this young lady. Hi, what's your name? Pam. Pam, uh, it says uh, something on the card there. Would, would you do that or go to the Pie Pod? I'll do something. You'll do something? Okay, take it off there. It says uh, hidden talent. Uh, do you have any hidden talent, Pam? Quite a few. Oh, what? Could you do one for us here? Yes. Okay, what, what are you going to do? It's clean, too. It's clean? Yes. Oh, good. What are you going to do? I'm going to swing the beads. Swing the beads, Pam. Okay, Pam's going to swing the beads. Here we go. <laughs> I see. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Nice job. And this young lady's name is? Denise. Denise, what are you going to do? The card or the pie pod? I'll do the card. Do the card. It says you have to eat pickled pig's feet in pudding. Robin, do we have any pickled pig's feet in pudding? Right over here. This is great stuff here. We really do have it. And uh, here's some pudding. You want to take a pickled pig's feet and just kind of dip it in there and then take are a big hunk? Oh, have I ever lied to you? <laughs> Go ahead. Just take one of those pickled pig's feet. If You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to say thank you to Gina's Jewels from the Florida Mall for uh, piercing our ear, and we'll find somebody to do this. You stay with us uh, every day here on Nickelodeon. We're going to have a lot of fun. What would you do? See you again later. A promotional fee has been paid by Foreign Candy Company. Get a mega burst of sour flavor with Mega Warheads Candy. Try them all. Sour Hard Candy, Sour Gummy Wally, Sour Pop, Sour Gum, and Wally Dudes. And by Skechers Lights Up Your Life with S-Lights. Sneakers and boots that light with each skip, step, jump, and hop. Come play with Skechers and Kids Foot Locker. What you do is taped in front of a live studio audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios, Florida.